Place when we make room for everyone. Let's be kind. Kindness is sharing a snack or smile, holding the door or sitting a while. It's giving a hug or lending a hand, and helping others understand. Kindness is listening even when we're small. It's caring for others, one and all. It's sending warm wishes across the sea. To friends we know and those we can't see, 
It's for places where people need peace to grow. For peace is a gift that we all should know. Kindness is for everyone, wherever they're from. No matter their color, language, or home. It's something we give, it's something we share. Helping the world show how much we care. Like waves in the sea. Big or small, they flow through you and me. Hold them close or let them go. You'll know when it's time to let them flow. Sometimes they're heavy and that's okay. You can ask for help along the way. Feelings drift and feelings stay. You're the captain every day. So friends, happy or sad, it doesn't have to last. Feelings come and go. Yes, they can pass. Thanks for sharing how you're feeling today. Sao Bona. Hello. Sao Bona. Hello. Can you try that? Sao Bona. Hello. Quasi, you try it. Sao Bona. So bona. So bona. <laughs> so bona is Isi Zulu. Isi Zulu is spoken in South Africa. Guess what? That's where we're going today. South Africa. South Africa. Kuji Chagalia means making a name for yourself. And it's all about being proud of where you come from. Just like the people who have this flag right next to me. Can you guess the flag? Do you need some help? <laughs> well, that's South Africa. South Africa is a country with lots of different people. And they all have their own amazing stories and cultures. One thing that makes South Africa really cool is they speak so many different languages. South Africa is really diverse. That means there's lots of people with all kinds of special stories about where they come from. Some people speak English, Afrikaans, Xhosa, Zulu, Northern Sotho, Sisotho, Setswana, and so many more. And with so many languages, in cultures, there's lots to experience with traditions. South Africa is home to some of the most incredible animals, like rhinos, aardvarks, and other wildlife. Wow! It's filled with history and important people, like Nelson Mandela. South Africa has made a name for itself by sharing its stories with the world. Remember Kuchitagalia? being proud of who you are and where you come from, just like the many people of South Africa. They're all super special, and so are you. See you later, friends. I have a buddy I hold so dear. In every language, friends appear. In English, we say friends so clear. With friends, there's no need for fear. 
Amigo Spanish says it right. I'm me in French, oh, what delight. Friend in German makes us bright. In every town, friends in sight. Chingu, they say in Korean. Dum, dachi in Japan. Bongyo in Chinese can. Show that you're my biggest fan. Amigo Spanish says it right. I'm me in French, oh, what delight. Friend in German makes us bright. In every town, friends in sight. Amigo in Italy, ore yoruba. The figures I hate me, any evil. Rafiki, my friend. Friends still. Yeah, and I love animals. Do you like animals? <laughs> Great! <gasps> yeah! Do you hear that sound? Hmm. What animal do you think that is? I think it's a lion. <gasps> You're right! It is a lion. Ibubesi. Lion. Ibubesi. Lion. Yeah, can you say Ibu Bessi? Ibu Bessi. Ibu Bessi. You try it. Ibu Bessi. <laughs> Great job. I hear another sound. Let's listen. Do you hear it? Yeah, what animal do you think that is? That's tricky. But it's a giraffe! <laughs> yep, it's a giraffe! In Lulamiti. Giraffe. In Lulamiti. Giraffe. You try it. In Lulamiti. <laughs> Great job! <gasps> I spy with my little eye something that's big and round. What animal is that? That's an elephant. Is ya right? Yes, that's an elephant. Ndlovu, elephant. Ndlovu, elephant. Yeah, I think we should turn this into a song. What do you say? joyful sounds. Look over there, a big old elephant. And it's Izunu. It's called Inglovu. Sing along with me, hey, hey. Safari fun we learn today. Animals in the Izulu now. Let's all give it Sing along with me, hey, hey, safari fun we learn today. Animals in the Sing along with me, hey, hey, safari fun we learn today. Animals in the Sing along with me, hey, hey, safari fun we learn today. Animals in the Sing along with me, hey, hey, safari fun we lear
along with me, hey, hey. Safari fun we learned today. Animals in the sea, Zulu now. Let's all give it a go. Creativity isn't just drawing or painting. It's also for making amazing buildings and homes. Architecture is how we design and create buildings. In South Africa, there are lots of buildings that are creative and super special. For example, there's a building called Hole in the Wall. It's not really a hole, but it looks like one. And it's right next to the big, beautiful ocean. Imagine living there and hearing the waves every day. What's neat about this design is it was naturally made that way. It forms an arch. Oh, have you seen the one that's shaped like a pineapple? <laughs> well, in South Africa, there's a building that's shaped just like a pineapple. A giant pineapple? It's in Bathurst, South Africa. And it's made because pineapples are loved there. Can you imagine loving something so much that you make it into a building? That's something that I would do. Now let me tell you about another cool thing. In South Africa, they have houses called Rondavels. These houses are round like a big, cozy hug. And guess what? They have attached roofs made of straw, just like living in a storybook house. And guess what else? South Africa is home to some of the tallest mountains, like Table Mountain. It's called Table Mountain because it looks like a giant table. And you can take a special ride to the tippity top. Oh, and don't forget about the colorful houses in Bocap. They're painted in all sorts of bright and beautiful colors, like a rainbow on the street. So, you see, in South Africa, they're really good at using their creativity to make amazing buildings and homes that are super unique and special, just like how you use your crayons to make beautiful pictures. Well, that's all for today, friends. I hope you learned something fun about architecture in Kaumba in South Africa. See you next time. I love the mountains. I love the rolling hills. I love the flowers. I love the daffodils. I love the fireside when the lights are low. Boom di da boom di da boom di da boom di da I love the mountains. I love the rolling hills. I love the flowers. I love the daffodils. I love the fireside when the lights are low. Boom di da 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 boom. I can hear bubbles all around when I move my feet, and it makes me smile when the wind blows right through me. You can dream anything. You're as tall as a dream. You can see many things. Nature is fun, you'll see. Camping, oh let's go camping. Let's pack it up. And we'll have all the things we need, so let's go camping. Oh let's go camping. Let's hike it up. And just move one foot and another, let's go. Look, a squirrel is over there as a bird goes through the air. You never know who we're gonna see. A 
as the ants will march in line with the yummy smell of pine. You never know what you're gonna find. You can dream anything. You're as tall as a tree. You can see many things. Nature is fun, you'll see. Camping, oh let's go camping. Let's pack it up. And we'll have all the things we need, so let's go camping. Oh, let's go camping. Let's hike it up. We just move one foot and another, let's go. With the tent set up right there, and a fire we can share. You're not alone, no need to be afraid. With the marshmallows to roast, add some chocolate for some s'mores. They're so yummy, we have to get some more. And as the day will end, you'll find you need a friend. You have so much to share with all your friends out there. You can dream anything. You're as old as a dream. You can see anything. Hi everyone, my name's Ekawa. Let's talk about Ujima. Ujima means working together, like when friends and family help each other to cook. I love cooking, especially with my family. I just tried something new. It's called Boboti. Boboti is from South Africa. It's like a party in your tummy. To make Boboti, you need some ground meat, like beef for lamb. And guess what? You mix it with special things like onions, yummy spices, and sweet fruits called saldanas, which are like raisins. Then you put a special topping on it made from eggs and milk, like a fluffy blanket for your food. Then you bake it in the oven until it's all golden and delicious. Lots of people in South Africa love to share it with their friends and family. It's like a big, tasty way of saying, I care about you. And did you know, Bobolti has a special secret. Some people say it's a mix of flavor from different places, just like how people in South Africa come together to share the yummy recipes. So, you see, Ujima is all about working together. Just like how all these tasty ingredients come together to make yummy bobo tea. It's like teamwork in the kitchen. Well, that's all for today, friends. I hope you learned something delicious about Ujima and bobo tea from South Africa. Maybe you can try making it with your family sometime. Oh, can I have some bobo tea, Ekwa? Uh, sure, Akos. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm Ya. Ujima is a beautiful word that's all about helping our neighborhoods grow. It's about finding ways to take care of the people around you and making sure that everyone feels safe and loved. And one way to do that is making sure that people are healthy. I want to tell you about something really, really special. The Buhu plant in South Africa. The buhu is a magical plant that grows in South Africa, and it can help people feel better when they're not feeling well. It's like nature's own medicine. The buhu plant has special leaves, and when you use them, they can make you feel all better. They have a very strong scent. People in South Africa have been using buhu for a long, long time to help with tummy aches and other algaes. Did you know that buhu can even help you when you have a sore throat? Yup. Oh, and guess what else? Buhu leaves can help things taste super tasty. Some people like to drink it. 
the boho plant is like a superhero plant because it can help people in so many ways. It's like a friendly neighbor that helps out when you need it the most. I'd say that's a lot like Ujima. Ujima is all about making sure our neighbors are healthy and happy. And the boho plant in South Africa is one way to do that. Just like when you share your toys with friends and everyone's happy. Well, that's all for today, friends. I hope you like learning about the boho plant. Stay healthy and stay happy and see you next time. Skidamarink a dink a dink, skidamarink a do. I love you. Skidamarink a dink a dink, skidamarink a do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skidamarink a dink a dink, skidamarink a do. I love you. <laughs> it's Kofi. Nia means sharing your purpose. Like the thing that makes you super duper happy. And you know what? My special purpose is exploring nature and telling everyone about it. Nature is a big magical playground. And there are trees, flowers, animals, and so much more to discover. And guess what? In South Africa, there's a tree that's extra special called the real yellowwood tree. The real yellowwood tree isn't actually yellow, but it's really tall and strong. It's been growing for a super long time. Like 1,000 years. They have soft needle-like leaves that are arranged in a spiral pattern around the branches. Their leaves are different from leaves of many other trees. That makes it easier to spot them. The real yellowwood trees are so important that they are protected by law in South Africa to prevent them from being cut down. It's illegal to harm them or move them without permission because they're really important to the people of South Africa. These trees help our earth by giving us clean air to breathe and homes for lots of animals. I hope you love hearing about nature as much as I love exploring it. Thanks for listening, friends. See you on our next adventure. Bye. It's Kwesi here. Imani means having faith and being trustworthy. It's when you promise to do something and people know they can count on you. Trustworthiness is about being honest and doing what you'll say you'll do. Just like with Nelson Mandela. 
who's Nelson Mandela? Well, I'll tell you. Nelson Mandela lived in South Africa, and he was the president for five years. Nelson Mandela wanted to make South Africa a better place, where everyone could be treated equally and with respect. People trusted him so much because they knew he would keep trying, no matter what. He showed us that having faith in the good in people can make the world a better place. But, you know what? Nelson Mandela had an amazing person around him who helped too. Her name was Winnie Mandela. She was also someone who helped South Africa in many ways. She stood up for people's rights and worked hard for a better future too. Together, Nelson and Winnie Mandela showed us that having faith and being trustworthy can make a big difference in the world. That's all for today, friends. Remember, being trustworthy can go a long way. See you next time. I am part of a loving community, and I belong here. I have friends who care about me, and we help each other. Together, we make our community a happy and friendly place. I love to share and help others because it makes me feel happy. We are like a big family and we support each other. When we play and learn together, we grow stronger as a community. I am connected to nature, and I care for our planet. I appreciate the people in the world around me, and I say thank you every day. In our community, we celebrate our differences and learn from one another. Every day, I feel the love and warmth of my community and it makes me smile. I am happy, I am healthy, and I am whole. Think peacefully. Hi everybody, it's Kojo, and today I want to talk to you about something really special. The Day of the African Child in South Africa. That's South Africa. In South Africa, there are lots and lots of children, and they come together to play and learn together. That's unity, too. The Day of the African Child is a special day on the calendar. June 16th. It's a day to celebrate all the amazing children in South Africa and all around Africa. So, Every year on June 16th, people all over Africa and from around the world come together in unity to celebrate the Day of the African Child. They talk about the rights of children, the importance of education, and how we can make the world a better place for kids everywhere. It's a day to remind us that when kids stand together for what's right, amazing things can happen. And positive things can happen in the world. That's the power of unity. We can come together in small ways like at dinner time or in big ways like the Day of the African Child. How will you show up today in unity? Thanks for listening, friends. See you next time. It's my binoculars. <laughs> With my binoculars, I can see everyone that came to play today. I want to say thank you to you for coming to play today. In Isizulu, we say Giabonga. Can you try it? Giabonga. Thank you. Giabonga. Thank you. Giabonga, Harper. Giabonga, Liam. Giabonga, Jabari. Thanks for playing today. Gia bonga Olivia, Gia bonga Anaya, Gia bonga to you. Thanks for playing today. <laughs> See you soon. Goodbye in English. See you soon. Ah, uh, 
Again, Chinese we say. In Japanese, they say I'm not a cool. Onion is Korean simple rule. It's not good, but no, no, no. We'll meet again, don't you know? So many words, but see you later. We'll be back, no hesitator. No tears, no fears, we'll meet again. Language sings along. In Hindi, we say "Alvida, dear." Arabic, "Ma salama, here." Portuguese says "Tell my friend." See you soon. It's not the end. Thanks for learning about South Africa with me today. You did it! Great job.